What if the ancient Greeks had the internet? Hmm. Well, that's a really good question. But I think it depends on what you mean by the internet. Like a network of computers that talk to each other. Okay. Um, well, I know the Greeks didn't have a network of computers, but they did have a network. And in fact, we talk about just this question in one of Udacity's free online computer science classes. So let's take a look. So what does it take to make a network like this work? So let's suppose we wanted to send a message from Rhodes to Sparta. And we have many points along the way where we can send smoke signals. So we'd start by sending a smoke signal from Rhodes. This would be visible from a few other points. And to reach Sparta, the one at Nachos would need to resend it, would need to also submit a smoke signal that would be visible at some other points. The one at Melos would need to see it and resend it. And maybe that's already visible at Sparta. That's amazing. So ancient Greek smoke signals are essentially the same as the internet. It's so simple. They're not quite the same thing. Yes, they're both networks, but the internet has to deal with problems like encoding and routing, but those are deeper issues. If you want to learn more, you should just enroll in Udacity's Introduction to Computer Science.